No. She filed for Social Security last week. I did. Really? Oh, well, really? I, actually, it was on I didn't know you could file at 50. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wayne. This is my wife, Carrie. We're from Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, we cheated a little bit. We flew the first 3,000 miles and drove the last 150. <laughs> in, a, in a rented Challenger. So nice Challenger. Uh, RV when you carry guys. Sweet. Yeah. Love the Tiffin product. <laughs> Boy, you always wanted one, didn't you? I always wanted a Tiffin. So how long have y'all had this RV? We picked it up last January. So January. We've had it over just a little over a year now. Just. Well, last January would be a you, month. It was well, a year, you were on a rally. Yeah. No, but I mean for oh, the video, it would be a month a ago. Year, a year ago. <laughs> yeah, January. a year ago, January. There you go. Yeah, we well, so, were you like a big it? old rally, and we didn't get to go. And you're full-time, right? We were full-time. Yeah. We went full-time in March. Last time we saw you, you were part-time renting an RV, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you did a lot of planning, a lot of research, rented RVs for two or three years or a more. Good, probably a good year and a half. Yeah? Year Off and on, yeah? Rent, renting. Year and a half to two years? No, but Research. we rented one a year for four years, yeah. Because that's when we came to the rally in 2020. Yeah. It was in the rental. That was and it, yeah. you rented it? In Mesa. In Mesa, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we drove it out to Quartzsite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we rented a, a Class C, a small Class A, twenty like 27 feet, and then one that was about 34 feet, and then 36 feet. So how long is this one? 38. 38. And it's a Tiffin what? Tiffin Red. Tiffin Red. Yeah. Allegro Red. Is it called Allegro Red? Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. All the research you did, you still comfortable? You you have any doubts? Like I wish we had a fill in the blank, or so far you hadn't hit much of those. I haven't. Not all. I guess there's always the hindsight. Uh, we had some friends that told us you have to get the heated floors. Um, they're cold. The floors. Yeah. yeah. When you wake up and it's cool. Up, out, and but you're retired. You don't have to get up until it, the sun. Oh, exactly. That's what you got the sun for. Yeah, but if we wanted the heated floors, it, we would have had to get the all electric package, uh -huh. and oh. I didn't so there's want to do that either. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh -huh. trade-offs. So and, really, and, and an extra ten thousand dollars. It was like right. a crazy amount for the. Vehicle. An extra ten grand for the heated floors. It was. It was something high up like that. Wow. Mm -hmm. But there's wow. real no regrets. But there's nothing, I mean, we're very comfortable in this. Yes. So you're not wishing you'd got a uh, class B or C or oh, no, fifth no. wheel or any no, of that no. kind of stuff. You you think you pretty well got what you want. What you said. We're thinking we bought the right coach. We're, what were they say? The, the first last coach, coach, the last coach. Your last, last coach, coach first. first. Right. Last oh. RV first. Okay, first. There you go. Right. So I can see way, way back there a bathroom. I heard talk last night when you were over at the house about a bath and a half or something well, like that. Oh, come on. Let me show you around. All righty. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. We got our, our full kitchen and this pool. And now this is a residential fridge. Absolutely. Fridge? With yeah. A, with the ice maker. Oh, that's and yeah. the nice extra counter. Who does bar. most of the cooking? Okay. And this is the taco bar. The taco bar. <laughs> Who does the, most of the cooking in y'all's team? Here. Carrie, okay. I'm the dishwasher. Well, I'm filling the blank. I'm there <laughs> with you. Do <laughs> you have any solar? We no, it's pre-wired for solar. Okay. So if we are, if we when we get to that point, we will do solar. Do you know how much it's pre-wired for? Do you have any idea? Yeah, I think he said eight. We have the eight gauge wire, which would be about oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, and we have a, a nice deep pantry here, and there's a nice little pull-up pantry here. Oh, yes, yes. And I was shocked at how much I actually was able to fit in here for my, my, my pantry. Looks like house. you're using it all, though, huh? Oh, yeah, it is. It, I can't even fit, reach to the back. That's what Wayne's for. <laughs> Once again. Here, this is our half Oh, bath. wow, you got one of those big fancy... Half baths, yeah. Uh -huh. No, I meant over here, the control panel. Oh. Yep. Oh, and it's got a door. This is one with a door on it, huh? Is that right? A door or not? Yeah, this is a door. It's no, I mean oh, the back side. The back. No, oh. actually, right well, you here. You do have one of those doors. Mm -hmm. The emergency exit's behind the bed. Yeah, right here. You just pull out these tabs right here. Uh huh. And you just pull the tabs, and there's a little panel there. You push out, and some stairs flop out, and that's your emergency exit. Okay, okay. I've seen them from the outside. I've never seen it from the inside. And that's a big door. I've never seen a door this big. Oh, yeah. Isn't that nice? In an RV, yeah. Yep. Yep. Very nice. 
Is this a king, queen? No, it's a queen. We have queen? a queen at home, so okay. we wanted the extra space by the bed. It's nice to have enough room to walk on both sides and Absolutely. make it, it up. Absolutely, making the bed so much easier. Uh huh. But yeah, so no. Is that a full or a is closet? closet? Okay. Closet oh yeah, space. yeah. And they have some drawers here, and I really use that a lot. I can actually fit three across and two deep of these, and I just and they come out easy. Mm -hmm. So have you like seen these, sweetie? Here. Or you've seen them, I know, but the yeah. holder she has in our closet like above our bed? No, I haven't. Yeah, I can fit. And they come out very easy. Ours are a little big. Oh, They're harder yeah. to get out. I want to get those. Where did you get them? I got them at the container store. Where is that? Uh, well, that's okay, sweetie. We're... I'll find out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll find out. Yeah, and I'll get you the size if you, want, if you need to order them and have them shipped. Okay. There you go. And a full shower? Mm -hmm. Big counter on that. What's in the slide? Is, is that a washing machine? Yeah, absolutely. We got the stack of Oh, yes. Dryer. Oh, and it's a double. Is it vented mm -hmm. outside? I'm assuming it is. Yep, it sure yep. is. And look at this. Whatever you want to stand yes. back there. What every woman wants. Oh. A full-length mirror. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I said it looks like a, a glass. I, I thought then, that can't be a glass on a bathroom no, door. How many women want a full-length mirror in their RV? <laughs> All of us. All of us. Explain to him about your emergency exit. I did. But there's some people that don't love it. Wayne and Carrie, they did their research. They rented RVs for three or four years in a row. They even flew out, like they said, from Boca Raton, Florida, where they lived to Quartzsite to join our rally and meet people that are living the RV lifestyle. And they decided, yes, that's what they wanted to do. The next year in January of 2022, I think it was, they totally retired, bought a brand new Tiffin, and they've been RVing full time ever since. But in this video, you're gonna meet a couple that did a little research. They bought a fifth wheel, they lived in it for five years, and they decided they hated it. It's our daughter and son-in-law. So you pull up here. Our son-in-law, he's a diesel mechanic with the state. And maybe 10 years ago, he built this shop. It's a big shop. And I just found out he built another. He built a little addition onto it. I think he's out here somewhere. Here he is. I can see him already. Hey, Ron. We hey, made Bob. it. How's it been going? Oh, not too bad. Taking a break. Taking a break. Huh? Are you retired already? It's close. Getting close? It's getting real close. How close is close? A couple months. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah. So are you going to get you an RV? I know you had a fifth wheel, but you got rid of it. I did. Nope. Uh, You're going to downsize, no way, get rid of everything? There's get no way I'm going to get Melissa in another camper. <laughs> yeah, she cool. didn't like it that much, did she? She's got her house now, and she yep. likes this it. This is Tuesday, and we're getting our farewell supper. We've got to go out and eat a couple times, but Melissa's made some pretty dead gum good meals. And it smells delicious in here. I'm not sure what we got. We got an enchilada casserole. No. Oh. Crock pot enchilada. Crock pot enchilada. I'm sorry. Well, what is it, Melissa? Crock pot enchilada. Is it beef or chicken or chicken. fish? Chicken. Oh, you're so sweet. Melissa knows I can't eat too much red meat, so she's making me a chicken enchilada. You built your shop, and I see you got... A an extension, right? That wasn't yeah, last time. Yeah, no because I want to make this a fabrication area. Let's see what all you got. Is that, you got you another project on here or what? That belongs to a friend of mine. He saw the work I did on my Camaro and, and my Roadrunner and he liked it. He asked me if I would do this for him, so here it is. It's checked up. Don't look like system. you got a lot to work with. Yeah, not a lot that here. panel changed already. The truck floor has changed. Now I've got to change this quarter panel. I have that one cut out. Oh yeah. The oh yeah. That looks naked, huh? The new one welded in. Oh wow. <laughs> That's really. And then the inside's about. Wow. Yeah. The inside's just... gutted. So it's um, just a shell, huh? Just a shell. Yeah. And I see a big old hole there. Yeah. I'll replace this floor pan, and I might or might not replace that floor. I haven't decided yet. If it's bad enough. So I think I saw your Roadrunner when you was building it. Is this what you had it on? Yes. And yeah, it, I built the rotisserie for the Roadrunner. And you're saying rotisserie, you hook the car up and you can turn it around. You so you can put it on there and then we can spin it. I think I was seeing that. We'll have to get some. Just roll it. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> Let me look at the other side. Angle, we can go upside down or lay it on the side. Ain't that the cat's meow. Makes for welding underneath a lot easier and painting the roof is a lot easier. So you, what's it? Oh, the back bed here, you replaced it, huh? Yeah, I replaced this. The trunk. And these welds I, I burned through and I'll grind that down and you'll, ne you'll never know there's a weld there. And then up here, you, oh, it's on the other side. You replace, oh, that's where you welded in this quarter panel. Oh, let's right. see your other, let's see you said your other Camaro. Let's show the folks. Is it on the other side? Yeah, it's over here in the big This side. thing's kind of got, uh, look like a tornado hit it. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you were gone for a while, huh? You just used or, it for yeah, a storage. Yeah, for about five years. So I can see it from this side even better. But that's my 69Z28. And you painted that? You bought that one already redone. It was already redone. And then I took it down and went 100% original on it. Oh, really? It had some aftermarket stuff. And I, I just went back original. And then what do we get? Your you Roadrunner? And that's 69 Roadrunner. See, now that, I just can't believe. It looks like the last time I saw it was at a car show. And it was all shiny. So, we're at the car show, the Elko car show. And, uh... Ronnie put Bob to work. Cool. I'm going to go get a little closer. Registration is up inside the convention center. You can head on in there and uh, get that taken care of. Coming back home from the car show. Uh, 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 be nice, Bob. <laughs> he thinks he's Mr. Dragster. Little goose. <laughs> Is he right in Runner's way? <laughs> now it's all full of dirt. Are you going to repaint it again? or No, I'll just wash it. Just wash it. <laughs> so you got a sealer on there so that stuff doesn't yeah. affect it? And then where's that? You had a GTO somewhere. Yeah, I got a 66 Goat over here. Underneath these boxes. I'm going to do a resto mod on that. Probably put an LS3 in it. I don't even know what LS3, that's the engine, huh? Yeah, that's that's the uh, engine that Chevrolet a big one? have been using. Is that a LS big engine? Series. Is it a big one? LS3, is that big? It is, I think it's six liters. And I forgot to mention, this here you put, are you going to or you did put nitrogen in it? Nitrogen? Nitrous. Nitrous. Yeah, no, it has nitrous. It's got a stroke 440. So it's 496 cubic inch. So when you fire that six up. Six pack and nitrous. You can burn rubber and all that, huh? Oh yeah. You can make a regular smoke screen. <laughs> Let me see yeah, this I GTO. Got a stock, hot rod, and then I'll go rest some Oh, so a stock Camaro, a hot rod, uh, road runner, and then what on the GTO is gonna be stock again? This will be stock, you said? No, that'll be a rest of mod. It'll be restored to modern specs. Oh, resto mod. Okay. Yeah, that's so where you get that term. I'll keep it a four-speed because it's an original four-speed car. But I don't have the original engine for it, so, so I'll probably go LS. So your retirement is going to be projects here. This is it. You getting it set up? This is Re my retirement. This is what I did through high school and after high school. The difference now is I have the money to do what I want. Yeah, and you got some tools, some pretty fancy tools. And the tools. Kind of walk us through some of your specialty tools. You got this hoist, which is a big, nice start. Yeah, these lifts are nice. I need three more so I can store more cars. <laughs> yeah, your wife would love that, more cars. Yeah. 
I got my lounge area. So is this some of your special equipment, your hot dog maker? Cook my hot dogs. I see you got mustard here, yep. so you must be using it. I oh, had yeah. one earlier, it was pretty good. <laughs> so... I got a four by four plasma table. Obviously you got to have a toolbox. Got a toolbox. Big old toolbox. And what do you call this? This it's, is... Go ahead. Plasma yeah. table. Okay. CNC plasma cutting. And kind of what will you be doing with that? Well, you can make signs or fences or special brackets. So this is where you lay a piece of steel down on You'll there? lay a piece of steel on that. As a computer? Yeah. And Type then, in the computer what you want it to do and it'll cut, the, cut out whatever you tell it to cut out. So is it hooked up? Have you have you done anything with no, it yet? No, I just parked it there, and I've been busy with this car. And what do you got? What is, that's just a welder. That's that's my TIG welder. TIG welder, yeah. and then acetylene welder, and I saw yeah. another something. And my MIG welders over here. MIG welder. Okay. And then what's what the contraption to the left, back behind the box? Oh, that's bandsaw. For wood or metal or what? Metal. Metal. It's a seven inch steel bandsaw. This is a lot of stuff for metal. Are you gonna start a business or? Yeah, kind of mainly for tax deduction, but this guy's gonna, he's paying me for this car. Uh huh. And so you got income, you wanna have some deductions and so that? Yes, I gotta, I gotta deduct these tools somehow. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. So this is gonna be your, some people call it retirement, some people call it maybe your uh entertainment it's, or whatever it's kind of both yeah i figure you got to have three things when you when you retire you got to have your health you have to have some income and you got to have a purpose there you go so i'm retiring from to the have state, a happy yeah there you so go i'll have my income i'm pretty healthy i got to have a purpose this is it this is it let's go outside you're still talking something about making a ford into a dodge yeah, or... i got a couple more projects out here This is the rear end and front subframe for the Camaro. Oh, the one you're working on now? Yeah. Okay, the rear end. There's an extra tire here, right? There's That's one. what I was trying to, extra tire, one, two, three. Yes, there's two subframes. He bought, this, this is the subframe that was on it when I got the car, Uh huh. but he's gonna put this one on it. It's cleaner and better shape and it has disc brakes on it already. Oh, okay, cool. So he wants to go with that subframe. So you'll put all that back on it? Yeah. Now I'll put that on. And I got my old one Dodge Diesel. But in my experience, so this one you like the D, you like the engine and stuff. Yeah, that's I one like I'm the running in. gear. It's a Cummins Diesel, new venture transmission, Dana front and rear end, the coil springs. It works really good, but the body is it's a piece of garbage. Dash breaks out. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. So I'm going to take this 69 Ford F250 and convert it onto that chassis and running gear. Is that pretty easy to do or is that going to take a lot of... Well, I don't know. I've never done that before. Okay. <laughs> Ask you that next year. <laughs> yeah. But I've got a plasma table if I need to build anything and I got a mill and a lathe coming. So you think if you need like a hood, you could make a hood? No, I can't, I can't do shit. Oh, you can't metal bend like in this stuff. Okay. I got a bead roller. I mean, I, I could run a little bead on something, but to make an actual hood. But I could make the, like, say, shock mounts. Yeah. Or a hood hinge, something so like that. So the big hefty steel parts. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that kind of stuff. That Jeep looks interesting. What's the story with that? That's a 90 Wrangler. And I'm going to make. You're going to put it on top of this? No. No? no, this this is an '81 Toyota two-wheel drive. It'd look pretty cool with that Jeep sitting on top of. It. Nah, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm gonna go tube frame on that and four-link suspension. So this would just be a toy, huh? Yeah. Pretty fun. So is this like a year down the road or two years down the road or? Well, it depends on how I feel. <laughs> yeah. on, on That's which, retirement. That's which that project to be. I want to take on. And you got, what all you got in here? I know Melissa, you built her some kind of roadster or something? Yeah, she's got a, uh, it's a kick car of a 66. Is that easy to open or? Cobra. Oh, it's right there, oh, I'll be done. And 
I used a 90 Mustang as a donor. So it's got the five liter Mustang, 8.8 in, rear end, five speed transmission. You did this like five or 10 years, 10 years ago or more, huh? You did yeah, this a while. I built this before I built the shop. Oh, you, but you was, did you build it here in Spring Creek? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I built it in the garage. And then what you used to have like a, what was that you used to partner with? That big yellow thing with the great big wheel? Oh yeah, we had a monster ride truck. Yeah, monster truck. Yeah, we did that. You take it to events, get people rides. Yeah. yeah. And that's how I got the road runner. Make it look like yes. I did something, at least you get a little dirt. Yeah, especially if you're filming this. You show me the RV park, this is what I do my first time. Work, work, work. I come to relax and I never got to catch my breath. Picture of you up in the driver's seat and make that your new business card. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know the other ones are call from his fan club. Huh? They're like the black ones that are kind of wrapped around. Huh? Said his work didn't last long. Get my he got a call from his fan club. I know it's tire and the <laughs> And we've got one more couple. This is a little quick five minutes, but Doug D, they, him and his wife, uh, Helen, they decided they want to just part-time. They want to keep their house. They have a beautiful home. But we knew Doug D from his comments, from all of our videos. He'd been watching for quite a while, but we never met him until today. Doug D. What do you think that guy was trying to do? Was he talking to us? He was. I see you. I, I see you guys. Did he look happy or was he mad? Oh, he looked happy. You didn't do anything stupid driving, you didn't pull in front of him? No, thank you. Okay. Pull up here and let me... That was the most unique interaction that Pearl and I have ever had in meeting our subscribers. We, and we want to thank Doug D for uh, waving us down on the freeway. He was just driving down the highway and saw us, turned around to come chase us down and we went over to his house with, with his wife and had a lovely afternoon. So thanks to uh, Wayne and Carrie, Ronnie, Melissa, Doug D and Helen. They all did research, made their decision full time, part time, no time. <laughs> <laughs> that's the key do some research and that's just about it folks thanks very much for watching till we see you guys again keep the wheels rolling stay safe we'll see you at the next exit folks bye bye <laughs>